Hey guys, in this video, we will learn how we can move a SharePoint list item using Power Automate. Hey guys, I'm Deepak Srivastava. Welcome to my channel. So today we're going to learn how we can automatically move a SharePoint list item using Power Automate. So this is my SharePoint site and I have a list called country report. In this list, I have different folders. If you're wondering how you can enable folder inside the SharePoint list, you need to go to the list settings, go to advanced settings, and you have an option called folder. So you just need to say yes to it. And once you do that, you can create folders or you can create an item. So in the, in the SharePoint list, if you select any item, we have an option called move to. And what this option allows us to do, it allows us to move this particular item to any of the different folders that are already available in this list, or you can create a new folder and move this item there. Now this process is there, this functionality is there, but it is manual. What if I want to automate that? So whenever someone going to create a list item here, based on the selected country, I want that item to be automatically moved to that particular folder. And I have folder for each country as listed here. Okay, so this is what we are going to try today. To find out how I can do that, if I log into flow.microsoft.com and I will create a new flow, I'll create an instant flow for now, new step, and I'm gonna see what all options or actions we have in SharePoint to move and if I search for move, I got two actions, move folders and move files. So as you can see, I can automatically move a folder or I can automatically move a file, but there is no action to move a particular list item. So what we're gonna do, we have something called send an HTTP request to SharePoint where we can actually call SharePoint API. So now the question is, do we have an API that we can use here to move a list item? And the answer is yes. And for that, a GitHub blog that I found, this is by Mr. Leo Siddle. So he created this blog post where he is talking about how you can move a particular file using API. So he has find out some uh, API that actually this move command that we have seen earlier use. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to take this move file API and I'm going to use this move file API for SharePoint list item, okay? So I'm going to repurpose this API, though it is for moving a file, I'll be gonna try to use it for a particular list item, okay? So this is the API that moved the file, okay? And what this API needed listed here. Let me filter the information from this blog post and open the Visual Studio code, and then I'll walk you through what information you need to repurpose the move file API to move list item. Okay, so these are the URL that you need to understand. The API is very simple. It's underscore API, sp.movecopyutil.movefilebypath. Now, if you want to understand more about this particular API, there is a Microsoft documentation on that. I will add the link for this as well. So you can see how this API got set it up and what all the information you need to pass to get this working, okay? So this is the API. You just need to know this URL. If you don't want to go too deep into it, how it works, you don't need to. Just remember this is the this is the URL. Then the parameter that you can pass is overwrite true or false. Then we have this block of information. Now this information is letting this API know that which document you want to move and where you want to move. So what we are going to do to reuse this for SharePoint list item, we're gonna work on this URL. So right now, if you look at this URL, this is looking to give, looking for a link to the document, right? Both, both of them for source and destination. In our flow, we will try to change this and point it to a particular list item. This part is clear. Now let's go back to our flow and I'm gonna delete 
this action and delete the trigger because what I want now I want this flow to trigger when I'm going to create a new item so when an item is created I'm going to select my site URL list name okay now the first thing that I need to check whether I'm creating a folder or I'm creating an item because I don't want to move the folder right you can do that as well but this for this video we are just concentrating on a list item so I'm going to add a condition here and you know there is a property called is folder if it is equal to false so if it is not a folder then I'm going to do my logic okay for now I'm just going to add a compose here paste here if you search for identifier right save it because I need to show you how to get this information okay so save it and I'm gonna test it quickly I'm gonna create a new item in this list okay click save my flow should trigger based on my item create action okay so flow done so you remember we have uh, recorded the identifier if you look at this particular information you see it saying list but it is not formatted correctly so let's do the formatting okay and this is the path that you need to move a item so what I'm going to do if you go to the expression there is something called decode URI component I'm gonna select that and here I'm going to pass the same identifier that we have selected okay now there is a trick if I'm going to just decode the information that I'm getting an identifier one time it's not gonna give me the right information and to get the right information I need to decode it three times okay and when I say right information I mean to say in the right format so you don't have any any of those percentage uh, uh, character in that okay so I'm going to just do this three times decoding okay click OK now I'm going to rerun the last flow that we have successfully completed and this time when it complete you will see the result is much more readable okay so this is the path of course you have your SharePoint URL this is my SharePoint URL then you have list then you have country report that's the name of the list and then you have this 162 underscore point zero zero this will help you to move this particular list item from this current location where it get created to the respective folder where you want it to be moved okay so you need this path and where I'm gonna use this path if I copy this just to show you I should have my URL looking like this so this is my source URL okay so logically this is what I want to get as a source so this is my source item now we have the destination right where you want to move it everything is gonna be very similar the only thing is going to change because we are moving it to a particular folder after country report that's the list name if I go back to my SharePoint and if I go to the one of the folder after country report they should have the folder name okay so if I copy this so if I want to move to the USA folder and then I need to pass the title So I just need to get the path for the folder that where I want to move for the destination for source I get the path or the identifier for the item to move what I need I need the entire full path or identifier for that given folder so how I can get that let's go back to the flow I'm going to add an action here okay so get items I'm going to select the URL of my site list name again it's going to be the country report click on show advanced options and I'm going to add a filter query here in filter query I'm saying title equals to you need to pass the name of the folder that you are passing in your list item when you're creating so in my case when I click on the new item I have this drop down where I can select a country 
in this country, I have a folder for each country. So what I'm saying in my automate flow, just give me the item where title equal to the name of that country that I'm selected. So in the case where I have created this particular item, I have selected the USA. So when I'm going to run this command, get item, it's going to filter the entire list for title equal to USA. And it will give me this item, this folder information. That's, that's what we need because once we have this information, I can get the path or identifier for this particular folder. So this will give me the information. Okay, and then I'm going to add one compose here to just show you what information we are getting in that same identifier here. Select that. If you scroll down, you should have the same identifier. Now, notice one thing. If as soon as I'm going to select this, the flow is automatically going to add this apply to each loop. It's okay because whenever you do get items, flow think that there you're going to get more than one item. So it's going to add this loop. Because we know we are creating those unique folders, we are not going to get these many record or we will always be getting only the one record. So what you can do in that case, I'm going to move this compose outside of this loop and typing a very easy expression here. Okay. And you see this value, select that, control C, go to your compose, go to expression, paste that. Okay. And remove the curly bracket from the front and the end. So this is what the information that you are getting from this get item. It's an array. So what I'm saying, bracket zero. So I'm saying, give me the first item in that array. Don't give me everything. Just give me the first item. And in that first item, what I need, bracket, single quote, curly, and then, then I need to pass the name of my column. Okay, that is identifier. Okay, so this is the expression that you can use. And let me show you here. This is the expression you can use to get the first item. So this will give you the first item from your get item action. And then you can pass the name of the field that you want to extract. Okay, click OK, and we don't need this apply to E, so I'm going to delete this one. Now let's try to run it again. Okay, so follow completed successfully. And now if you see here, it looks very similar what we were getting for the item. The only thing has changed, if you see at the end, it is showing me the name of the folder. But you know, it's not really decoded correctly. So we know we're going to decode it three times again. So if I just decode this entire thing using the same expression, decode URI component. And I'm going to copy this three times. Okay, and then at the very end, we're going to close those three brackets. Now, if I run the flow again, so this is the path of the folder. This is the path for the item. We have both now, okay? Now, the easy part, we need to create this structure, okay? So I'm going to copy this entire thing and don't worry, I'm going to share the link of this flow and also copy these things into the description. Click edit. I'm going to add another compose action here. Okay. And copy paste the information that I have selected. Okay. So the decode URL, the first part, the source path, this is my URL of my site. It's not going to change. After that, I have this information and the items. I'm going to delete that. And from the dynamic content, this is my first compose. Let me rename that. So this is the item path. Okay. And this is folder path. So here, what I'm going to do just after that backslash, what I'm going to do, I'm going to search for the item path, select that. Okay. So this is the URL, my tenant URL or my SharePoint site URL and then the path for the item. Same in my second or the destination URL. Here I need to pass the folder path. So we have that compose action. I'm going to select that. And then at the very end, I'm saying titles. This is the name of the item that you can just pick from your when an item is created or the title that you want to use. Okay, click save and we will see how this compose is going to look like. So I'm going to test again, completed. 
Now if you see, uh, and if you see this information, so my source URL is like this. So this URL is correct, right? The name of uh, the URL of my SharePoint site, list, country report, the name of the list and the item identifier. And for the destination, this is the title, this is the folder path and everything looks correct, okay? Everything is ready. Now the only thing that we need to do, we need to use the SharePoint send HTTP action here. So select that. Select the site address method is going to be post because we are posting this information. The URL, as I said, is going to be very simple from underscore API. That's what you need to copy for the header. We are going to use the standard header here, except application JSON or data, no metadata and content type is also the same. Okay. And in the body, here we're going to pass the output of the second action. This all information will go into the body of this request. Okay. Click save. And just to show you here, this item is still outside. I'm going to run the flow now. If everything is right, flow should actually move that item to the US folder. Let's see. Refresh. Item has gone. If I go to USA, and if I search for filter for ID, here you go. So your demo item, the list item actually has been moved from outside to this particular folder. Let's say if you have two label of folder structure, is this flow is gonna work? The answer is yes. So for example, I have USA folder, then I have TX folder underneath that. So this time I'm going to create another item here. Okay. and in this field, I'm going to select the text TX. Okay. Now this is the second label folder. So logically, if my flow is dynamic enough, what it should do, it should actually move this item to USA and then inside this particular folder. So let's wait for this flow to trigger and see if that works. Okay. So flow just ran and it's completed successfully. And if I go to my SharePoint list, I don't see that item here. Let me go to USA. I don't see that item here as well, but if I go to the TX folder, look at this. So that flow that we have just created is dynamic enough. So if you have different folder structure or if you create a new folder, it's gonna automatically know that where to move that particular item. Another very good point that I like the most, when these items are moving, the ID is remaining the same. Okay, yeah, so this is the quick video on how you can use Power Automate Flow to move item in a given SharePoint list. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. Keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.